brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. All right, today's question comes from Sandra in Florida. Sandra writes, my spouse's spending is crippling our finances and our marriage. Each month we have only about five to six hundred left after monthly bills and minimum debt payments, and we only have a thousand dollars saved. I've tried to speak lovingly to my husband and let him know how much the overspending scares me and affects my mental health. I've also had moments of frustration and have blamed him for financial struggles, which I realize is not a healthy approach. Seems all my efforts and approaches are futile. I understand the Ramsey principles behind joint accounts and have lived this way for years, but at what point in my marriage do I say enough and separate myself financially? Right before divorce. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we're here. I think we're close. This is way bigger, Dave, than uh, I'm glad she I'm glad she had the courage to write is crippling our finances and our marriage because this type of behavior tells me there's other issues in that marriage. It's not just money. Yeah, this guy is um, kind of got the axis of the world stopped through the top of his head. Mm. Everything spins around him. He's the most important thing that ever lived. I'm telling you, his mama told him that. Yep. And um, and now. Um, nobody tells him anything. Yeah. Um, I just can't imagine Dave. I, again, I don't have a psychology for this. I can't imagine Sheila taking me out and saying, um, anything I'm doing, you're scaring me to death. And me going, yeah, I don't care. I, I, I just, <laughs> I don't have that in my, I don't have that in my body. I don't understand that. I don't understand how you could respond to, to anybody that way. If if the if the waitress at at Waffle House sat down and said, "Hey, the way you're doing things scares me, and I, I'm not, I don't feel safe," I, I don't think I could be like, "I don't care." Like I I just don't have that in me, man. So I don't understand this dude at all. What a scumbag! I just don't get it. Don't get it. So um, yeah, the, the, it, it could be just an immaturity. Could be a lot of things. Um, in all seriousness, all once I get past all my frustration and my name calling, but um, the um, so there's two issues with this email. Number one, uh, you guys need to sit down with a marriage counselor, and if he won't go, go by yourself, so that you can start to get language to how you're going to decide how much longer you're going to do this. Uh, because my experience with this, and I'm not a counselor, and I'm not trained like John is. But for 30 years, I've done this and sat with couples. And my experience is particularly ladies, more so than men, uh, they reach an end point and it boils and boils and boils. And then suddenly they go over the edge and the switch flips. And once it flips, there's no getting her back. Right. She's done. When she's done, she's like, like roadkill. It's over. It's done. And you can't get it back. And you're going to reach that boiling point. If you don't do it intentionally with some help with a good coach, a good marriage counselor to give you words to do this in a very wise and reasonable way, it's all, it's going to sneak up on you and him. And you're just going to go, I'm done. When somebody says the word futile, everything I've tried yeah. is for not, is for nothing. Yeah, that's lost hope. That's lost hope. That's right. Yeah. And uh, so you're you're getting really close, and I'm telling you. If there's a chance that you save this marriage, it's going to be with some help guiding you through how to communicate to him if you can get through to Jello Brain here and get him to do this, okay? Now, if you can and you turn it around, that's great. That's thing one. That's the route to go. Hidden inside of this email is the question that I've been asked a bunch of times as a separate issue. That's how can I handle my money separately in a messed up marriage and it be okay and the answer is you can't you've got to make the marriage okay if you want to have prosperity in your relationships and prosperity in your net worth it has to be done from a functional standpoint not surviving uh, a bunch of misbehavior and still prospering in spite of it that just doesn't happen in my experience, we, we see almost never does someone overcome this guy not changing and somehow you create a tactical way to separate your money. And while you're still married to him and he continues to do the exact same thing, somehow you go off and become a millionaire. That does not happen. That's just that's mythology. 
There's not a tactic, a legal document, a process that causes you to be able to swim with an anchor around your ankle. And, and so you guys have got to work through this or work your way out of it to be able to have a great life for both of you. And he's, I think it's important to call out this husband is not um, being a person of fidelity. He is not upholding the marriage vows that said till sickness, um, to sickness and health, um, till death do us part. Um, this is ours, mine is yours, and yours is mine. He's not doing that. Um, he's saying, I really don't care about you. I just don't. I just don't. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.